His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa visited today the Muharraq Municipality and met with members of the Muharraq Municipal Council. His Royal Highness reviewed a number of projects in Muharraq and directed to increase efforts regarding implementing eight development projects. He also directed the Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning to develop roads in Deir and Samahij areas, in addition to following up with the projects at Pusaitin Coast. His Royal Highness then directed the Ministerial Committee for Reconstruction and Infrastructure to follow up implementing these projects in cooperation with the ministries and governmental bodies. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister visited Muharraq Municipality in which he held a meeting with government officials of the service sector and the attendance of members of the Muharraq Municipal Council and expressed the government's keenness to provide citizens with all economic and social development requirements. His Royal Highness was briefed with detailed plans of implementing a number of projects in Muharraq which were presented by the Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning and the Minister of Housing and directed the Ministry of Housing to cooperate with the Muharraq Municipal Council regarding a number of housing projects in Arad, Busaitin and al -Hid. For their part, the members of the chairman and chairman of the Muharraq Municipal Council, Mohammed al Sinan, expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his constant support and for his keenness to follow up implementing the development projects in Muharraq.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at Dhabiya Palace Sudanese Ambassador to Bahrain Abdul Rahman Khalil Ahmed. He commended the work of the ambassadors in both countries and welcomed the newly appointed Sudanese ambassador to the kingdom, wishing him every success in his new diplomatic assignment. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of further strengthening ties between Bahrain and Sudan, which have already advanced cooperation in a number of areas and achieved particular success within the agriculture and in livestock sector. He also welcomed the Sudanese government's interest in addressing a number of regional issues and his participation in the Saudi-led military operations in Yemen. The ambassador of Sudan expressed his gratitude for His Royal Highness' continued support to Bahraini-Sudanese relations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at Libya Palace the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications Kamal bin Ahmed and Telecommunications Regulatory Authority, the TRA. His Royal Highness lauded the strategy of the TRA in establishing the sustainable competitive role in the private sector and directed the authority to keep up with the latest developments regarding telecommunications to document Bahrain's achievements in this field to achieve more progress in the market. He directed the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications to cooperate with the TRA to prepare the fourth national telecommunications plan in which it gained international recognition through His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's receiving of the ITU award. His Royal Highness lauded the role and efforts of the members of the TRA in monitoring the telecommunications sector and to meet the needs of consumers and investors. The TRA affirmed to provide high level of services to achieve further goals for Bahrain and its people. The UN country team in Bahrain held a dinner reception on Monday night to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the establishment of the United Nations. The UN launched the global celebrations under the slogan, Strong UN, Better World. The celebration in the capital Manama was attended by a number of government officials, key diplomats and the media. It shed light on the historical relationship between Bahrain and the UN. The UN country team in Bahrain held a dinner reception on Monday night to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the establishment of the United Nations. The UN launched the global celebrations under the slogan, Strong UN, Better World. The celebration in the capital Manama was attended by a number of government officials, key diplomats and the media. It shed light on the historical relationship between Bahrain and the UN. On one hand, many Bahrainis played an important role in the UN, possibly uh, one of the most important ones at one moment. Uh, Bahrain had the presidency of the General Assembly of the United Nations, or also the Security Council, another big uh, agreement of the UN. And here Bahrain itself has, uh, from let's say, from in the country, there was a very close relationship with the UN agencies that worked here on development issues. The UN Day event comes at a busy time for the global organization, which was founded in 1945, ranging from ongoing global conflicts to an upcoming climate change conference in Paris. Just over a month ago, the UN adopted its post-2015 development agenda at this year's GA, 17 goals it aims to achieve within the next 15 years. This year is actually a very important year for the UN. We have... Uh at least two very important events uh, apart from this which is the sustainable development summit that just took place during the general assembly in new york and uh, where we agreed on a new sustainable development agenda with uh, 17 goals and all the countries have signed it and we will pursue it we also hope and that may be i think the most important gift to the 70 years of un on an agreement on climate change in December at the Conference of Parties in Paris. The UN is made up of 193 member states and the mission and work of the world body are guided by the charter signed 70 years ago. It takes action on the issues confronting humanity with regards to peace and security, climate change, human rights, terrorism, governance and more. We celebrate this 70 years of creation, the, the, the organization, serving the people all over the globe, serving the needy people, serving the people who are facing terror, facing insecurity. And we, we've worked a lot with all the member states to be sure that this mandate, which is given to the United Nations by the member states, uh, incorporated in the charter to be implemented. 
The UN was born of a perceived necessity and as a means of better resolving international conflict and negotiating peace. Tonight, and 70 years after the formation of the United Nations, was an opportunity to take a step back and reflect on the enduring achievements of the world governing body. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News. An art exhibition with a philanthropic purpose entitled Letters of Hope opened last night in Manama. Here's more with Danielle Deporto. Located at Moda Mall, between the towers of the Bahrain World Trade Center, is an exhibition of over 40 colorful artworks called Letters of Hope. While the paintings support awareness of breast cancer, all proceeds from their sale will be donated to the Bahrain-based Child's Wish Society. Letters of Hope is the brainchild of Bahraini artist, philanthropist and cancer survivor Diana Al-Sheikh. Each artwork representing a keyword to support cancer patients, it's like a to give them hope and support and uh, faith uh, and never give up. So each artwork carry a word like hope, faith, but it's in Arabic calligraphy. Uh, and it's uh, acrylic on canvas. Letters of Hope was inaugurated by Information Affairs Minister Isi bin Abdurrahman Al Hamadi, who described the event as a message to all private and public entities as well as individuals to contribute to charitable and humanitarian causes. Bahrain's Child Wish Society supports more than 500 children suffering from chronic ailments and other special needs. It's the beginning. I hope to do more of these uh, uh, exhibitions. I think my next exhibition will be a photography photography of places I took uh, uh, shots uh, during my treatment uh, outside Bahrain. So hopefully it's, it's the beginning. We need to do more of these uh, exhibitions or charity uh, events because this is a wonderful cause. And uh, actually I, I'm, I'm really surprised of how much I support I, I got from all the people here. Excellent. The exhibition will run until Saturday 31st, with paintings selling fast in support of these particularly worthy causes. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain TV. The Bahrain Old Shares Index has closed today at 1,249.35 points, marking a decrease of 4.78 points below yesterday's closing. This decrease was due to the fall in the commercial bank sector and services sector, but investors traded mainly in the commercial bank sector, representing 81% of the total value of shares traded. Results indicated that 12 equity transactions took place with a volume of 226,477 worth 46,030 Bahraini dinars. Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain TV. Bahrain made a perfect finish at the second GCC Games, which came to an end in Dammam, Saudi Arabia. The Nationals captured the gold medal of the football championship after a tough battle at Prince Mohammed bin Fahd Stadium. Bahrain secured the title with four points from a goalless draw with the host nation Saudi Arabia and a 2-1 victory over Qatar in a three-nation round ribbon event. The concluding game yesterday between Saudi Arabia and Qatar ended 2-1 in favor of the former. With the Bahrainis leveled on four points and a one-goal advantage, they decided the championship by a draw, which Bahrain won. Al Ahly team won their first match by straight three goals against Manama. After an absence of three consecutive seasons from the top flight, Hani al Badrani scored the first goal in the 11th minute, then professional player Diego added the second before the end of the match to give Al Ahly their first three points. Diego, Diego, 
دييغو هل تكون هي الرصاصة الثانية دييغو Saitin started the league by winning in the return to the first division team by Citra by two goals against one. Brazilian defender Lewis opened the scoring in the 31st minute before doubling their score by Mushtaba in the 41st minute and Citra's only goal came through Said Mansour in the 58th minute. يفقد الكرة تعود مرة ثانية للشعار الأحمر تمريرة خطيرة داخل منطقة الجزاء وفرصة التقليص at Khalifa Sports City Stadium dominated with a goal of straw between Al Hala and Al Hid the Kings Cup champions and the Super Cup with the draw both teams got one point at the start of the Bahrain Professional League. تبعد إلى خارج ملعب بينما يبدو الموسم نتمنى أن نشاهد مستوى راقي هذا جواب شوف شوف جواب البرازيلي يا سلام خذ له واحد خذ له اثنين لكن تدخل